Saturday about 7.30 ish or so. That would be the 30th. Yes, Saturday the 30th. I can count. Look at me. Even this early. Making, uh, making a little coffee. Got the kettle going. We're going to do something a little more exotic this morning. So we're doing uh, one packet of coffee, one packet of decaf coffee. So that's, that's two packets of coffee. And then a drinking chocolate. Yes, it's the white trash mocha time here in New Zealand. Yum, white trash mocha. Mm. I've got my deep voice on this morning before I have any coffee. Let me do my uh, sort of Tibetan slash Buddhist chanting. Holy, holy, holy. deepest voice of the day arrives, before the coffee hits, before breakfast arrives. It's the deepest, deepest day of the morning. That doesn't make any <laughs> sense, does it? It's Saturday afternoon, about noon. I just got a call to go down and get COVID test number three. So for those of you playing the home game, if I pass number three, I'm all good and I can get out of here on Monday. So, shall we? Blue band, all good to go. Mask up, and I'm off. Right, I'm all masked up. I got my special QR code. I'm gonna go down, get the swabby swab. In the elevator, this is me going down to level five. Singing a song about the no swabbing, gonna get, yep, something. I've lost my mind. And there it was, swab number three. Tickles. A little painful, but not much. So, I've had my first experience with a New Zealand wit today. When I was walking to the elevator, there was a gentleman in front of me, the aforementioned wit, and there were some people waiting to get in the elevator because, of course, there's only one bubble allowed per elevator at any given moment. So, it was a couple, there was him, and it was myself. So, we all have to wait our turn for an elevator. And, of course, that's true throughout the entire hotel so everybody coming down from floors above us they hit our floor because we've pushed the button and then nobody can get in yada yada, yada. Anyway, so I, I just strike up a conversation I said oh you know third time's the charm for the swab and he launches into this tirade about and I'm not going to do the New Zealand accent because I can't but he launches into this tirade about how he shouldn't even be here, how he's had the f***ing vaccinations already. And I'm purposely swearing a lot because that's what he did. So he's had the vaccinations already, he's had the f***ing this and the f***ing that, and this f***ing food, and how there's a better chance that the staff here is f***ing gonna get COVID than f***ing him. Just went on and on. And I said, well, you know, I think they're doing a pretty decent job, better than what I saw in the States. And he said, well, I don't know what it's like in the <laughs> States, but <laughs> here and just kept going on. So for those of you who have not done world travel, maybe not experienced the world, there are fuckwits everywhere. Good morning. It's Sunday, the first. Got my dates corrected. Sorry about that. It's about 8.30. I've been up since about 7.30. Got 
Got my little uh, coffee going here. Today is the last day here, in, or at least last full day here in MIQ. Tomorrow morning, about 10.30, I'll get out and uh, be able to go on my way to the airport, on to Christchurch, on to Timaru. It's been a, um, it's been a painless experience, to tell you the truth. It's a decent hotel room. The food is decent, despite what the guy down the hall seems to think about the food and the treatment. The whole experience has been as good as it can be for being locked in a hotel room. It ain't bad. The people have been nice, kind, courteous. It hasn't really been hard. Um, it could be a lot harder. Like I said in one of the previous episodes, if you had kids, yeah, I could see this being a real, real doozy. If you had kids, you'd be out on the yard uh, every possible moment you could. All in all, it's been an interesting experience. Today we'll be hand washing a few pieces of clothing just to make it easier. Taking my guitar and detuning all the strings and getting it ready and more or less trying to get ready to, to go so that by the end of the day, most of my stuff is packed and ready. So all I have to do tomorrow morning is kind of put it all together, go downstairs, sign out with whatever I need to sign out with, call my Uber and off I go. This will probably be the last video for a bit. Tomorrow's a, a full travel day and then I get to Timaru and frankly, shooting a video there on my first day back is not really what I have in mind. So next video, I have, a, I have some ideas for some new ones. So stay tuned, there will be more. Just not exactly sure how soon. Take care, my loyal viewers, my loyal listeners, whoever you are, and I will return. The Kiwi in Training series will return after a brief pause for me to get acclimatized to my new home. <laughs>